So here we are uh, in part two of the tutorials and we're going to look at the global configuration options in this screencast. So you can access that either by going to the icon or by going to site global configuration. Both of those links take you to the same place. So once you go to global configuration you have three options site, system, and server. You just click on that and you'll see that it changes. So we'll go over briefly. Uh, there's a few things that you might want to change on the site. Uh, global configuration options. One, if you ever want to take your site offline for maintenance or to install a plugin, you simply just click no, so the site would be off. Uh, so the site would be off. Site offline. If you set to yes, it's going to be offline. Okay, we want it online, so we're going to leave it to no. Uh, in the offline message, you can you can type anything you want here where your users would see that if they go to your site and it's offline. This is your site name and it shows in the upper left of your browser window. This is to select, uh, this is the default text editor that you see when you're managing your editing your Joomla articles and um, the default is this tiny MCE. If you've installed another one and you want to change it, you would change it here. Most of this you can just leave to default. And also notice that if you hold your cursor over any of these options, it explains to you exactly what it does. So you can explore this in your own Joomla control panel. This is the global site meta description. Again, you can, uh, you can edit that for each individual content item, but this is the overall uh, meta site, uh, global uh, description of your site. Here are your keywords. You usually want to leave this set to yes, these two options, unless for some reason you have a different preference search engine friendly URLs you usually want that set to yes if you have a problem with the plugin uh, you may need to turn that off and you would do that right here and in general you want to leave these set to no unless this a need arises that uh, you would need to change that but that's more programming issues and not anything that you probably need to mess with the system is let's see what you need to know here here, nothing. You don't need to change. You shouldn't change anything here, really. And yeah, enable uh, user settings. If you want to allow users to register for your site, obviously you set that to yes. This is the type of registration. Uh, when they register, you can choose that. This allows, uh, this, uh, this sends an email once someone registers, so they have to confirm their registration. And let's see down here. Really, there's nothing here that you need or want to change here unless there's an issue. Enable flash uploader. Again, these are preferences that you can explore in your in your admin panel because it's really self-explanatory. There is one thing here under session settings. By default, this is going to be set to 15. And that means if you take a break when you're working on a Joomla site. Uh, for more than 15 minutes you're going to be automatically uh, logged out. So I usually change that to 45 minutes. And then the server options, you don't want to change these things at all really. Um, there's really nothing, you def this is this is actually this is set up by default so you don't want to change any of these things. It's just for information if you need the information. Uh, when you install Joomla, these are all uh, set up by default. So the only reason any of this would change uh, would be if uh, a programmer is doing some work on your site. So it's really not anything that you would need to change, but you might need the information. So that's information about your server. So that is really, yeah, most of these things um, you're not going to need. I'm just looking to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah. Oh, well, error reporting. Okay, that's one thing. If you're having a problem on your Joomla site, if you set this to simple or maximum, uh, when you go to your site, it will show you the, the actual errors that are happening on your site. And that might be useful if there's a problem. You can provide that to like your hosting company if they're trying to help you uh, debug a problem. So that's pretty much all there is to global configuration. And we'll continue. Uh, and looking at these options uh, in the next screencast, in the other options in your Joomla control panel.